I like to show you this tool that helps you to train um, several things. I put you the download link into the description. Um, for example, I can you can train to minimize finite automaton. And if you do, you get um, a random automaton. And here you have the table that helps you to compare the states. And where well, you can choose a different... Um, how hard you want the automaton to be, you can create very, very big and complicated automatons, or you can get in so a smaller one. And it can also show you which next, uh, which next step to do to fill out the automaton. So this one tells to the first step, it says to include an epsilon into this field. And after you did everything, you can also um, it can also check your solution. So um, if you want to minimize an automaton, you want to find out which states are equivalent to each other. And you cannot find states that are equivalent to each other, but you can find states that are not equivalent to each other. And if you checked all states and one state didn't pass the test, then you know the two states are um, equivalent to each other. So um, that means um, we want to find proof that two states are not equivalent to each other. For example, if you have a state that is a fi that's a final state and a state that is not, then you know by just staying there by doing an epsilon step that those two states are not equivalent to each other. So I start by filling out every pair of finite and non-finite states with an epsilon. So in this case, where these are all finite automaton, here, uh, finite states, here's only one non-final state, so this one cannot be equivalent to any of these. So then I filled out every epsilon that's possible, then I check transitions. So and as you can see, if I hover over those fields, um, the, the graph will color which states I'm pointing to, so in this case S0 and S1, and it also shows the transitions in green and where this transition will lead to. And we want to find now, we would now want to find transitions with the same symbol from both of these states to two other states from which we are know that they are not equivalent. So I can just go through all what is here. I can just um, check all those fields. So as you can see, as when I'm in S0 and S2 and I do a transition with a 0, I come to this field to S1 and S6 and I know that they are not equivalent. So that means with a zero step from both of these, um, I come into two non-equivalent states. So that means that's the proof that these two are not equivalent either. And I can just go and fill out the fields. These Oh, I accidentally put. Oh no. Um, here there are now two zeros in it because I will take one zero from those two automaton to go into this pair and from that pair I will go with another zero into that pair which is not equivalent. So for the proof that S1 and S3 are not equivalent is by um, doing two zero transitions. Oh, and I go on checking the fields, filling out the automaton. Uh, filling out the table. So now I felt I filled out all the zeros that were possible. Now I go on checking with the ones. So I can't fill out these two fields because with that um, with that, I'm just landing in the same automaton that doesn't prove anything. And with that, I just land into that field. And I go again checking with the zero. 
and it doesn't change anything. So I couldn't find a way to fill out these both two cells, so I will fill them out with the empty set. And as you can see, the tool also draws, um, draws the, the new, the minimized automaton. And after I'm done, I can also check my table. And it says, oh, um, yeah, I find a proof for that, but it's not minimal. And I can find a shorter proof by filling that out with a, Z, with a one. And I can, I, then I can check again. And it says, okay, you can find a shorter proof with a one. Okay. And now I've got the correct answer. And I hope this tool will be helpful for you too.